Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to go over a workflow that I have built if you are working for a customer support tech company or you're working for a customer support service company. Both, both these kinds of industries would be able to take advantage of this workflow. And so uh, in previous videos, we've done a lot around personalizing each email in the campaign. And in this one, we're going to talk about here's seven different reasons that we can reach out to somebody that we can detect with data scraping, and then we're going to reach out to them. So I'm going to go into the outline first, and then we're going to go into the clay table to talk about how we built it. And so... Here are the seven triggers that I have built that we can reach out with. And I'm gonna explain them probably more in detail as we keep going through, but at a high level, we're gonna check for a new customer support team lead. We're gonna check for the customer team growth by percentage. We're gonna look for a new product. We're gonna look for what support tech do they have on their site, whether there's no support tech or are they using a competitor support tech? Uh, we'll see if they're hiring for customer support. And then we're going to see if they have a generic support email and we're going to couple that with do they have support technology or do they not have support technology. Finally, I also wanted to include some AI that we could use in a follow up message. And with that, we're going to get straight into it. So the first one that we're going to go over is trigger one. And so trigger one is we're looking for a new customer support team lead. Uh, and so the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the find people enrichment inside of Clay. And we're going to map the company LinkedIn URL. And we're just going to look for some job titles. I put in just four. I would put in way more if I were doing this for real. But basically what we can do is then set the parameter to look only for the people who have joined in the last six months so that we get the new people on the team. And I took this a step further as well. And what I did was, so, th you know, this person, the first person in this row, they now work at Sixth Sense and they're the principal customer success manager. But in the past, they worked for uh, a company called Yext. So what I did is I pulled in the last company that they worked for, and then I analyzed what, uh, what tech that that company is using now. So not only would we be able to reach out and say, hey, it looks like you're new. We'd also be able to say, hey, it looks like in your past company, you used um, Zendesk or Drift. Uh, and that's what we were using at your past company. Like, what are you thinking about as you're shaking things up at Sixth Sense is basically the angle we could come at for that campaign. The second trigger that we could be looking for is the support team growth. So what we could do is we could compare this column has all of the people in the company who have support or success in their title. And so it's right, right here, job title, support or success. And so what we could do is we could find all the people who have recently joined in the six months and then do a comparison. So like they had two roles of all time. One of them have joined in the last six months. That's a 50% increase, but not quite a great reason to reach out because, it, you know, going from one to two is nothing crazy, but something like, actually, nobody is that crazy here. Maybe 50, adding two roles in the last six, six months and they had 15 here is pretty interesting, but everybody looks pretty basic over here. And so we could reach out by customer support headcount growth by percentage. And then the next trigger that we could reach out by is by product launches, because when a new product launches, you got to be able to support it. And so we could say, uh, we could use AI, and I didn't do this here, but we, you know from my past videos that we could do it. So Sixth Sense launches AI Writer Tool. We could say, hey, saw the recent news about Sixth Sense launching the AI Writer Tool. And then we can use AI to deduct what support might have to be done on this. So we could say, I figured customers might reach out for support around things like utilizing the new AI Writer Tool in their sales process awesome line. I figured customers might reach out for support around things uh, like understanding how to implement Alation's new open data quality framework after, you know, they just launched a new open data quality framework. So I think that one's really good too. The next one that we'd be able to look for is a presence of competitive technology or do they even use technology or not? So down here, it looks like this company is using Zendesk. This company is using Zendesk. This company is using Help Scout and Drift. And we can detect all of these things. So if they have no competitive tech, we'd say one thing. If they do have competitive tech, we'd say another. And then the next trigger is we can look for people who are hiring for these roles. And so what we can do is open this up and we can see, okay, uh, it looks like Alation is looking to increase the amount of support team that they have. What we can also do is if you run a support service or a support software, also break this down using artificial intelligence. And maybe I'll do this at the end of the video. Uh, we can break this down using artificial intelligence and summarize what is this person going to have to be able to do. And then we would analyze with our support tool or our support service, 
depending on what this person would have to do, how could we say, hey, we actually could help in that way. Like we could either give you another person who's trained on these things, or you know how that you were talking about manually responding to emails, you wouldn't have to do that anymore with our tool. And so then we could do that analysis right in there using AI as well. And then what we could also search for is, like I said, we could look to see if there's any contact at email addresses on the website. This got a little bit crazy, but see how it says info at acimmune.com. So then we'd be able to see if they have any um, contact at email addresses on the site. And so let's check that we make, went through all the triggers. So new customer support team lead, we showed. Customer support team growth, we showed. A new product launch, we showed. No support using competitive, yep, hiring for custom support, great. And then they have a generic support, great. And so finally, I would basically reach out and I would use any of these as my, you know, why you, why now? And I could say, um, you know, and I could go to this person and I could say, hey, you know, Suchi, I noticed that you recently joined the team over at Sixth Sense as a, uh, and then we can just look up what they joined as. Uh, Suchita, recently I noticed that you joined the team as a principal customer success manager uh, over at Sixth Sense. Looked at your past experience, looked like you were working at Yext before that. I uh, saw that at this point, Yext is using Zendesk and Drift. And, you know, it looks like Sixth Sense is using Zendesk and Drift as well. Okay, you know, I know you've had, you know, a lot of experience with these tools. Would you, like, how are you finding them? You know, are they meeting all of your needs? It, you, you would have to put this in as you know more customer support things than, than I would. Um, and so then, you know, if it was the product launch, we'd be leading with the product launch, competitor tech, open support roles. We could lead with all of these things. Finally, for the follow-up email, I would keep reaching out and I would say, I would ingest their company description and then say something about their customer support. So for 908 devices, they're a chemical and biochemical analysis in simple handheld and desktop devices addressing critical to life applications. Okay, great. So we could send our email and we could say, hey, I figured customers might reach out for support around things like troubleshooting their handheld and desktop devices or understanding the software automation process. I, I think people would be very accepting of, of that to happen. Uh, this one looks like it's written in Japanese. Uh, let's go where they, they, oh, yep, it is Japanese. So what do we got here? Wow, AI translated it for us. That's great. I can't tell if this is correct, but we're gonna take it for what it is. And then let's check just one more. Um, empowering the body's immune system to fight disease. Join us on a mission to eliminate neurodegeneration uh, and cancer through immunoneurology. And so then we would say, we'd have our email and then we could say, I figured customers uh, might reach out for support around things like understanding the eligibility criteria for electors clinical trials, right? And so now we would have all of these different ways that we could reach out to a company. We have a lot of relevance for why they should be switching. We have a lot of relevance for why they could be enhancing their team. And then we have this follow-up where we can continue and say very interesting things to them where it looks like we looked up their company, but you know we're leveraging AI to be able to do this. And the great part about all of this is the way that this table is set up. I could just come in and I can hit add a row and then I could just put in like gong.io and I'd have to search gongs LinkedIn. And we would have this. And then we could hit this. And now everything is just going to automatically run for us. Super, super easy. And we don't have to do any work. What we could do is we could set up over here and export and it would be ready to send in our campaigns. So as always, let me know what you think. Uh, this was a little bit different from what we've been doing in the past, where now we're just more focusing on triggers. But I think this was a really interesting campaign to show off if you are running a support tech or a support service company. As always, you could reach out on LinkedIn if you have any questions. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching the video.